Okay. So let's look at um, some more detailed uh, mapping tools, more advanced, where we want a little bit more control. Um, above all, let's um, look at the uh, tools for creating buildings with nice straight edges, for example. So uh, let's move around in the, take a tool here to, to move to somewhere with a nice building. Um, move over here somewhere. Let's say we want to um, map this building here. So that's a building. You click on the buildings layer. We activate the, uh, the editing tools up here. And we have this square tool here, but um, as I perhaps suggested earlier, it's not that great at the moment. Perhaps in the future it will be improved, but at the moment it's a, it's a little limited. Um, so let's just click on creating a polygon, add polygon feature. And the keynote amongst you would have noticed that perhaps, um, perhaps noticed that this tool also became active, enable advanced digitizing tools. It's just over here. Um, so if we click on that, we get up this new panel. Now this tool uh, is uh, good, very useful, but it takes some getting used to. Uh, it's actually not that difficult. It's just, uh, there's a little bit of a trick to it, a little bit of a fiddle, but once you've got it, it's reasonably okay to use. Um, so let's just zoom in a little closer. This is all one building, even though it's got different parts to the roof. It's a car park and a, and, a, and a roof here. So for those of you who know the area, this is Niyan. Um, otherwise, it's just a, a shopping mall with a car park. Uh, so we're going to map this all as, as one type of object. It's a very simple map we're making here. Um, but we've activated editing. We've said we're going to create a new polygon, and then we've activated these advanced uh, editing or advanced digitizing tools, and it's come up over here. So what this allows us to do is to specify direction and uh, distance for when we move up, when we create a point. We can start at a particular location and then move in a particular direction, a particular distance. Uh, one thing we need to set up if you haven't done so, uh, and you presumably haven't, but I have already, so I'll just show you how you do it, is this uh, angle snapping. Now, I set this to, you can have it to don't snap to any common angles, but um, actually for, for mapping in this area, it works quite well to set this for five, 10, 50, it snaps to every five degrees. Um, you can be, uh, you can have it more, uh, with fewer angles if you have a very rigid structure, but, 5, 10, 15, that works pretty well for, for me. So we activate that there. The first thing we need to do is mark a starting point. So we're gonna start digitizing somewhere on here. And when we look at this image, we think the aeroplane was pretty much more or less straight overhead. We've got some shadowing, but we, so we can start to see sides of buildings perhaps over there, but it seems as if the, the aeroplane was more or less here looking straight down. So we're going to assume that the roof of this building is the footprint of the building. Uh, so if we click a point there, and then we start moving, you can see it tries to snap to a fixed angle. And if we look up in the corner over here, uh, pay attention to that bit, we can see it's set to 30. I've got the, the, the pointer along the side of the building, uh, and the A angle is set to 30 which seems to align pretty well with the building. So it would appear that uh, that's um, uh, the, the angle from north has a bearing, that side of the building is a bearing of 30. Quite convenient for us. The distance is 156, the D there. Well, I want to change that to 155. I think 156 is probably wrong. It's probably more like 155. I could be wrong. This is a map. It's always a lie. We'll just assume it's going to be 155. So how do I change that? Well, now this is where it gets a little tricky. So we press the, the C button, just the, the C uh, on, your, on your keyboard, press C. And as you can see, the, the, the icon up there changed, this little um, thing up here, that changed, so that became active. So let's take that back there. So that's now active. We've got the, the angle is set to 30, but I want the distance to be uh, 155. So I press D for distance, and then we can see that becomes blue. And we then type in 155 press enter. This is the, the, the tricky step. With that, it's not tricky, it's just you, you need to be aware of it. You press the C button again to come out of this mode. 
Uh, and then we click the left mouse button, the normal mouse button, just click, and it's taken the point. We can now move down. You can see we now have our baseline there. We move down to that point somewhere around there, and the angle snapping is, is minus 90. That's relative to the line that we've just created. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna get a nice rectangular building. The distance, uh, well, what do we think? I mean, if we look at this, is that about right? But it's gonna be somewhere around 73 meters, probably. So now we need to do the same thing again. We press the C button, we press the D button. Now we can type in 73 meters. It might be 75 at this scale, it's difficult to tell, but you know what, we're not gonna care too much. We now press C, no, sorry, we press enter. Yeah, we then press C again. And then we click on the mouse button, the left mouse button, and it takes the point. We then move the mouse over to our next point, which is somewhere down there. And now we see it's 90 degrees again. We want to set the distance to 155 again because we want this to be a nice rectangle. So we press C, we press D, we type in the number 155 because we think the building is that big. We press Enter, we press C, now we click on the mouse button and it's taken it. That was the left mouse button. Now, if you right click, take the right mouse button, click there, ah, we have our building almost done. And we're going to give it a name. We could give it a name. Um, we could call that neon like that if we want. Don't have to. Uh, and we're going to say it's a shop. Or it could be office or commercial. Which one is it? Commercial, it seems like a commercial thing, maybe. We'll call it shop because that's maybe a little more how people would experience it when they're on the ground. We'll call it shop. Click on OK. Done. We have that there. Well, that was simple enough with, for the uh, advanced digitizing using for, for creating um, uh, a square building. Okay, I think we'll end that video there just so it doesn't get too long uh, and then start the next in a minute.